Well, guys, last one before Christmas, I think. This is um, beach fishing. Nudist beach fishing. There's no nude people here, though. Thank God. Um, with Josh and his mate Ben. Josh has very kindly brought me out with him tonight. Um, targets, targets, targets are rays. We're on the Isle of Shetby, it's a nudist beach um, right down the bottom end of the island, it's called Shell Ness, but yes, yeah, it's, it's a nudist beach. Um, it, it's not it's not the sort of place you want to come if you're between, I don't know, 18 and 40, because I think normally the residents of this nudist beach are normally 60 plus, um, and it's usually male, I think, um, from what I've heard. So yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not the nudist beach that you're all thinking of. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm hoping there's going to be a few rays here. Um, as you can see, I've got the little rod out as well. Um, I was given a load of maddies today, so I thought, well, why not? I might as well have a go see if there's any flounders. I know there's a few dabs about on the island. Um, so yeah, I've got one rod out for rays, one rod out for the uh, for flounders, flatties, whatever's in close. I mean, that is really close. Um, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Got my Ziplex out tonight. Um, thought, I thought I'd have a play of a proper rod and reel for a change. Um, and obviously, yeah, so I've got my little my little uh, old ugly stick and I've got my cart rod in my bag that I might chuck out in a minute and all with a thing. Well, that was a bite. But I've got a feeling it was a white in bite. That definitely wasn't a ray. Um, I mean, I know I've put big hooks on that and I've got eight O's on there. Oh, no, that's a bite on the flounder rod. Hey, fish, first fish. Or is that someone reading me in? No, nope, first fish. First fish is over here and it's a white, I reckon. So I'll get off this and I'll, uh, I'll bring that in and I'll, I'll bring it back to show you what it was. But I reckon it's a white in. In a bit. Well, I'll just quickly show you the um, the, the flounder small fish um, setup if you like. If you've watched any of my other videos, guys, you would have seen this before. It's literally just a flounder trace, a couple of little looks, uh, Kamazam B490s, um, salted lug, and a bit of Maddie. Three or four on the hook, bunched up just on the tip, lovely. And then it's just on a flowing trace. I'm only literally just flicking this out, so three ounces is absolutely plenty. Other boat we've got is Bluey. More, um, loads more maddies and the pink Ikea bag full of salted lug. Happy days. Um, I'll just reel that one in. Um, there wasn't anything on it from that bite you saw just a minute ago, but yeah, Josh has had a couple of bites as well. But I've got a feeling I think there's a few whiting about. But where we are on the island, it's quite shallow water here, so I'm hoping there's not going to be too many of them about. But who knows? Who knows? We'll, um, We'll soon see, I suppose. All that over there, look, you see all the lights over there. That's all Whitstable, Urn Bay. Sorry, Urn Bay. Um, sorry, Whitstable. And Urn Bay's a bit further on down there. Oh shit, that was my rod again. Sorry for the language, guys. What is going on here? There's some tide one here. I don't understand why it's pulling so hard. It really is. Yeah, that way, them lights you can see up that end are, um, are lays down. And all this behind me is just like marshland, I think. Um, there's a big private estate with houses that's um, over there. You can just back see them lights there, um, and the housing estate goes way down. But it's a bit of a strange place. Never, I've never, I've been over here a few times, and never, ever, ever seen anyone in there. It's a bit like a horror film. It's like one of them places you sort of walk into, you never walk out of it again. It's very, very strange. But then it's the Isle of Shetby. I think there's a few people over here that are quite strange. Bless them. <laughs> well, I'll bring you back some fish in a bit. Come on, stand by me. First cast. <laughs> I first cast I've got one on the bluey. Big baits on the big hooks. Nice one boys, thank you. Oh, I was trying to um happy days. I was trying to get my phone out and record it, give it to Josh so he could record it for me while I was reading it in, but it weren't happening. I was trying to do it and trying to play the fish and I didn't want to lose it, not being the first chuck. Um so yeah, and that ain't a bad size one, you know, the first chuck. It's better than the ones we was getting at have the other day. Oh, it's much longer than the box. Get in over the moon with that. Oh, let's try and get that. Try and get a picture of it. Nice. Right, let's um, let's drop this rod. I'm in a massive kerfuffle. I did not expect to get one this early in the day. Um, I'm gonna get this unhooked in a minute and get it weighed because oh no, my my, my sure PB is six pound eight or six pound five. Yeah, look, nice bit of bluey in its mouth, as you can tell we're on a sandy beach. Let's get that unhooked and get it back. Don't mind your fingers when you're uh, unhooking these guys because they're a bit, they can be a bit moody. So yeah, eight O's trying to keep the white in away. Big lumps of bluey. 
and there you have it nice right I'm gonna um I'm gonna get this fish weighed and then I'll get it back and I'll uh I'll see you on the next one happy days Guys, I'm really sorry about that footage. That ray was a bit short and sweet. It went five pounds seven, um, so not my PB off the shore. But um, yeah, right. Well, I just brought you back. I'm going to show you. How I've just set the cardboard up now as well, being really greedy and having three rods. Um, the ray rods back out. I've had to sort that out. The little rods out there, but that's very close in with Maddie's on it. This is fishing exactly the same rig as the, as the rig with the Maddie's on for the flounders and whatever's about. But this one, I put a black lug on and then a tiny little bit of bluey. See that? Because um, I want to, I want to try and winkle out a dab if I can with this. Now dabs love a bit of fish bait, so it's just a little square bluey on the end of a little bit of uh, salty black lug, um, and I'm going to stick this one out just a little bit further than the uh, than the flounder rod. But that ray gave an absolute lovely slack slack line bite. Honestly, it was a it was a little nod straight down. It was like a cod. It was oh, it was actually a bit um a bit sexual to be fair. Um, I haven't seen a bite like that for a long long time. It was lovely though, lovely to see. Um, just, just glad it was a ray and not a dogfish or a lump of weed. Honestly, I was trying to get, trying to get my phone out of my pocket to give it to Josh to record it, but I couldn't get it unlocked and I couldn't get, couldn't get the camera up and just didn't know how to use it. So it's, it was hard work. And, and every time I to stop reeling, it, it felt like it was going light. And I thought, no, I'm not losing the fish. So I thought, oh, I'll get it in and then uh, get my phone back out and, and get it on record. But yeah, five pounds seven, first chuck on the ray rod. Happy days. I'll, uh, I'll bring it back. We get another one. I'll get some dabs or flounders or something in a bit. Feels good this one, but there's them coins and I don't remember where they are, Josh. Second cast, second bite, really, really good slack liner, and this is this is having it. This is not coming in. But, but I'm snagged on the end of that coin. Yeah. Get over that groin, didn't you? Yeah, but it can't. I don't understand why it's coming in and stopping dead. It's as if it's got. Feels like a stingray I had, but I'm I'm certain it ain't a stingray. Not on that bluey, mate. It's pulling back well though. You see the bend of my rod? Yeah. And this ain't no floppy stick. Oh, here it comes. It's coming in now. Watch it be a double shot of dogfish. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh, I'll tell you what. That one. It's a tiny one. Why was that? Why was that not coming in? Why was that not coming in? Oh, little fella. It literally is a tiny ray and all. I say, I mean, it's probably three pounds, but again, big bait. It's mullered most of it with a cock all up. Went under that groin, didn't it? Big bait, big hook. I'm like, oh, that was close. I'm not even going to bother weighing this one, let's get it straight back. Turn over. Shield turnover, sorry. Gone. Happy days, cheers Josh. Right guys, just bought the cartwood in. 
the one that I put the uh, the fish baits on. Ignore the whiting. That's not why I'm bringing you back because no one wants to see a whiting. You just seen that ray come in as well. I don't know if you noticed the cockle on the hook. I must be fishing over a cockle bed because there's two on my lead, um, which is pretty strange. They're just clamping on. I don't know why. I don't know whether I've hooked them as I've as I've dragged it out of the mud, dragged it out of the sand, or if they've clamped onto the uh, to the to the wires of the lead if anyone knows if I've just dragged them up or if they've clamped themselves on let us know I'd like to know why I don't know if it's because they feel a bit of security on it or, or what it is keep focusing um, but yeah no I'd quite like to know why well I'm going to get this proxy white and back I'll um hopefully I'll bring you back for number ray number three in a little while um since I've had this ziplex I think I've only used it twice the last time I used it I fished down at um have you got one I think I, 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 um, I used it down at... Oh, let me get that white and back. I'll, I'll be there in two secs, Josh. Um, yeah, I used it down at Hive with Knife when we was done the uh, beach fishing, the full moon beach fishing, and uh, I had a ray that night. So maybe it's my lucky ray rod. This little salty white and look, we're getting back. And then I'm going to go and see how Josh is getting on. He could have one. Right, white and back. Just quickly check my rod, make sure it's not being reeled in by Josh. Right, let's go and see how it's getting. Oh, I've just tripped over the only stone on the beach. Is it a ray? Or is it weed? Hey, happy days, mate. Nice one. Another female. Probably another five pounder. What's that on, Josh? Bluey? Yeah, just blue, little black one in the beginning. Look, not, not so lightly hooked and all. Yeah. Nice one. Happy days. Can we get some pictures of it? No? Nice one. Well, oh, there's another one. Lovely. Well done, Josh. Well, guys, I'll bring you back in a bit. Josh is um, into something, but he don't know what it is. It's a light rod, but it's heavy. He said it's heavy and it keeps stopping. So there's a chance it could be another ray. It's only here. You reckon it's a ray? Oh, oh. Not a dog, please not a dog. That's got to be a ray, you'd have seen it if it was a dog. Yes, Josh. Oh, that's a nice one and all, mate, that. Yeah, that's a proper one. That is a proper one. I'll get the scales out on that in a minute. I'll go and grab them now, actually. <laughs> Just bringing this one in, wouldn't you? Another female. What, you didn't get a bite on this? No. Just sitting out there? <laughs> he was bringing this in to pack, pack it, it away. <laughs> so You're joking. It's, I said it's on a fucking pulley. I'll pack that one out. <laughs> <laughs> Happy days. Let me go and get well, my scales. Was it? Nice, mate. Let's have a look. Yeah. Turn your light off quickly, Josh, if you can. Where's the... Um... Yeah, mate. Happy days. I'll go and get the scales. Get her back out there. <clears throat> right, guys. I'll, I'll bring it back in a bit. Oh, I think I've just dropped it. No, it's still there. It's still there, yeah. Well, this will be row number five between us. Um, have I dropped it? Oh, I think I might have dropped it. No, no, it's still there. The guys on its way out now, and we're still getting them, so we didn't expect this. We did not expect to do this well on them, to be fair tonight. Well, there's been definitely been one or two off the island, but not, not this many. Another female. Happy days. Quite oh, said both both eight oh hooks in it, look. Both the hooks are in there. Munching. Look at that crunch look. Unbelievable. Well I'm gonna get this one on hooks and I'll uh, I'll bring this back in a bit. Well, no sooner have I unhooked mine that I've just had, number five. Josh has just bought in number six. That's three apiece, me and Josh. And that's another five. That's another five pound, I reckon. Get in, Josh. Well done. All females. We haven't had no males yet, either. We haven't had, look, nicely caught as well. Not like mine taking two hooks. But that's probably my fault. It has, yeah. 
just trying to get it back. It's it's not even hooked, it just won't let it go. You just won't let it go. I ain't putting my finger in there because I've done that before and it hurts. That's it. There you go. What? Right. This is turning into a session, Josh, isn't it? Right, <laughs> I'm gonna go and um that ray just got me my one look. Be very, very careful, guys. And that was where I got the hook out. Used the back of the knife as like a T-bar. And as it went down past my hand, as, I, as it dropped to the deck, it, um, yeah, it cut me. But I'm sure I'll live. I'm sure I'll be there for a couple more. Let's, um, phew, let's try and get, what we got now, six. Shane was out fishing today with his mate Paul and they had nine between them. God, it'd be nice to beat them. Right, let's get baited up and I'll, uh, I'll bring it back. Right, guys, that's us done now. I think all packed up. Um, Josh and that uh, Ben are packing up now. What a night it's been. We did not expect this. I thought we'd be lucky to come over. If we come over here and nick one ray out, we'd be lucky. Um, anyone knows anything about the other ship, you don't get long to fish. A couple of hours either side of the tide. Um, we fished it about an hour down, um, and we had two on the or two on the ebb as well. So four on the uh, four on the flood, two on the ebb. Might, might actually be three either side, um, which again. It's a funny old place over here. Some places on the island, there's a few places where you get raised, quite a few places. Um, a lot of people, a lot of you boys I know, because a lot of you are, are local to me that watch, but um, yeah, there's a, quite a few places along the island that are known for rays. Um, I've never fished at Shellness, where I am now, on the nudist beach. Um, partly being, it's, it's a nudist beach and it's normally full of old men with their todgers out and it's not my cup of tea. Um, <laughs> but it, what a night. I'll definitely, definitely be fishing here again for them um, because the other spots they're normally there's times when the rays turn up you, you'll go all night with with nothing um and then it'll be right on the last cast is the ebb is, you, you, you've got no water left and you'll you start you start getting them and that's when you need to be quick because you can nick three or four of them um and there'll be and there's other places on the island where you get them an hour before i water um so yeah it's all different but it's yeah what a night it's been for three and a half four hours three i think we've been here for about three and a half hours fishing um, six rays, couple of white in. Can't complain. Can't complain. Anyway, I'm going to shoot now. Um, again, thank you guys for the support. Keep liking, keep subscribing if you can, um, and I will see you just after Christmas probably. I doubt I'm going to get any more fishing in. Although I have still got all them maddies, and I fancy a flounder session, but I'm going to have to try and keep them ones in the fridge, keep them alive, um, and uh, we'll get one out. I think I think me and Louis are planning a are planning a road trip because he still hasn't had his first rough ashore now. We was planning Hive next week, but now we're not sure. We might just come here. It's so much closer to our house. There's no traffic coming over the island, so who knows? Anyway, I'll uh, see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Thanks.